See here, I post simple images and videos on Pinterest and make thousands of dollars a month with affiliate marketing. It takes me only 10 minutes a day. In this video, I'll show you how to easily tag products with your affiliate links when you create your own pins on Pinterest, how to get a lot of traffic and how to monetize it in four simple steps. And our step number one is to find an offer to promote. To do this, go to one of these affiliate networks – Impact, Reward Style, Share a Sale. There are many other networks, but these are the ones that I personally used and the commission rates are great, which is not always the case with affiliate links, for example, from Amazon Associates program. See here, this is how you can join Reward Style. Just Google their name to get their home page and then choose to log in as a creator. Then you will find this button below saying Apply now. Click on it and submit your information. They will ask you the primary audience region. And in my case, the majority of my audience lives in the United States. That's totally thanks to my audience on Pinterest because this platform is mostly popular in the United States. Then I will add Pinterest as my primary posting channel, but if you have other social media like Instagram or TikTok, do mention them as well. I'll, I will also add my YouTube channel. They will also ask you about your experience as an affiliate marketer and how often you post on your social media. Then check the box for their terms of service and submit your application. Now pick a niche that's popular on Pinterest. Anything that would be interesting for women will do well because the majority of Pinterest audience are women. So think of topics like home decor, fashion, food and so on. I will open for you the trending products on reward style right now and you will see that the popular categories here are also similar to what's popular on Pinterest. So it will be easy for you to find lots of products to promote on Pinterest. To get an affiliate link, you will just need to click on a product and then click get link. That's all. You just need to paste it somewhere on Pinterest, right? So stay tuned as I will show you on the next steps how to make pins, tag affiliate products to them and how to generate income from your Pinterest account. Next up is designing a pin in Canva. To create a pin, you need to know a few important things first. Your pin should be vertical and the recommended pin size is either 1000 by 1500 pixels or a taller version, which I prefer on my account because it gives me more space in the Pinterest feed, it's 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. You can find both of these sizes are available in Canva when you start creating a pin. It's a free graphic design tool that works right in your browser. It offers thousands of pin templates and you can start your forever free account using my link. Check it out in the description below. This is the pin I created and let me show you how you can make one like like this. So you click create a design, I chose the taller pin template, then you can type in the search bar the word collage to see templates for pins where you could include a bunch of products. You will find then templates like these and I recommend you to pick the pins where the text overlay is in the top part of the pin because the text overlay is very important for your click-through rates on Pinterest. It helps users understand what your pin is really offering better than just the image itself. Once you pick one of the designs, you can stretch the image by dragging it by the corners because many of these designs were originally made for the shorter pin templates. I bet you would have picked one of the pins that has a text overlay at the bottom part of the pin, right? Because there are plenty of templates like this on Canva. But if I didn't tell you this, how would you know that they're not that efficient on Pinterest. Well, I'm trying to spill the real secrets that can make a difference in your income from Pinterest, so give me a like if you want me to share more tips like this in my future videos. Also, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want more of my videos in your feed and if you want to ask me anything about Pinterest, the best place to do it is in the comments below this video. Anyway, this is my pin and to make it, I first found three popular patio chair models on reward style. Here you can check the most popular products or even make a search for the keyword to find the exact products that you want to promote with your pin. Then just click on the product and you already know this is your affiliate link. Now you can go to the product page and even check some of the photos that they have. I usually don't like those product photos on the white background and instead I choose a photo of the product in a lifestyle situation so that the potential buyer can imagine how it would look like in their patio or garden. Then you simply right-click on the small image here on the right side and save this photo to your computer. Now we go back to Canva and click on Uploads in the left menu. Upload the photos of the products for your collage pin. 
I have already uploaded all three images of patio chairs to my Canva account, so I just need to left click on one of them and drag it to the part of the grid where I want it to be placed. If you have a nice template, it can take you just a couple of minutes to create a new pin like this. To download this pin, click Share, then Download, choose the PNG file for the best quality because Pinterest does care about the resolution of your pins. When you save the file to your computer, make sure that you included the main focus keyword or what is on the image into your file name. It will help you with Pinterest SEO. And by the way, if you want to learn more about it, watch my free Pinterest masterclass. You will find the link to it up there and also in the description below this video. And hey, you can also save this as a video pin. To make a short video from this image, I can simply click on the animation and choose anything that looks nice. Then click Share, download it and save the file as an MP4 file. That's it! You just created a second, different format of a pin from the same image you made in Canva. It will be a unique pin for Pinterest and it only took you a few extra clicks. Ok, now our next step is to create a pin on Pinterest with the help of ChatGPT and later in this video you will learn the two methods you can use to tag your affiliate products to the pins. So I will go to ChatGPT first and I will ask it to make a pin title up to 70 characters and a description up to 300 characters for the most trendy patio chairs. Your pin title and description can actually be a bit longer, but knowing that AI tools usually make the text twice as longer than you needed them, I gave ChatGPT a lower limit of characters. Did you notice as well that I asked it to make sure the keyword patio chairs is at the beginning of the title and description? You want it to be there as well for the SEO purposes. Now I will go to Pinterest, click create a pin and I chose to upload my 6 second video pin in this case. Now I'll copy the pin title and description that ChatGPT generated for me and then I will add a few relevant tags again to help Pinterest categorize this pin and show it to the right audience. Your interface might look a bit different because Pinterest is rolling out an update right now. You might not see the tags if you are creating an image pin but anyway, you will always have the pin title and description fields. Then I can find a page on my blog that has some similar content with outdoor decoration ideas. You have this description link field and you could even give a link to an affiliate product here, but it would go then to just one of the three products that I picked to promote. Instead, I can use this pin to drive traffic to my website, where I can monetize traffic with display ads, and I can also drive traffic from this pin to the affiliate products. So where do I tag them? Now we're moving to the next step when we will tag the affiliate products. Right here, do you see this tag icon? I can click on it and then I need to click on the specific part of the pin image to highlight the particular product and then you'll have here an option to add your affiliate link URL. If the affiliate link is linked to a product page, to an e-commerce store, Pinterest will typically fetch the images from that page and you can choose any image you like as the tagged product. In some cases, however, the affiliate link goes to another type of page which is not categorized as an e-commerce product page for Pinterest and then you will see no images and you won't be able to tag a product by just using the affiliate link to it. I'll show you in a few moments a workaround that solves this problem, but first you should know that you can tag more than one product. So I would easily tag three products that I have on this pin with three different affiliate links. And let me finish saving this pin. I need to choose the most relevant board on my account and publish the pin. As you can see, once the pin is published, the tagged product appears below the pin and if you click on it, it's technically a new separate pin with the image that you grabbed from the product page and with your affiliate link. Now, if you want to promote a product that doesn't generate any images, you can create a separate pin with your affiliate link first and then tag it as a product. See what Pinterest does when you tag something on a pin? It's basically just creating a pin with your affiliate link. Using an image it managed to fetch from the product page, it automatically generates a pin title and description from the information on the product page and what's interesting, it automatically saves it um, to a protected board on your Pinterest account called products that you tagged. When there is no image or something else is preventing Pinterest from fetching an image, you won't be able to generate a tagged product using this method. But it doesn't mean that you cannot use these affiliate links. Look, I have some products on another affiliate network called ShareSale. 
and I used a WordPress plugin called WP Rocket that helps you with site speed. So I'll copy the affiliate link from this platform specifically for this product. Now, if I wanted to tag it to my existing pin about best blogging tools, see, I go to add the affiliate link and I get an error saying there is no image on the page, so Pinterest cannot generate a pin. I've seen comments on my previous videos saying that share sale links don't work on Pinterest. I assume people think this way when they see this kind of error, but it only means that you cannot get the image from the product page. So instead, you can go ahead and create your own pin with whatever vertical image for this product you have and with your affiliate link. See, I created in Canva this pin for WP Rocket plugin, generated pin title and description in ChatGPT, and this is the description link. I will add it here. See, this is my share sale affiliate link, and it really goes to WP Rocket site. Hold on a moment, I forgot something important, but it's an easy fix. I'll open the pin I just created, click add it and add a hashtag promotion in the pin description. You could use something similar like hashtag sponsored or hashtag affiliate. That's our affiliate disclosure, which Pinterest requires when you create this kind of public pins with a direct affiliate link. I'll go back to tagging this product, but this time I will change from product pins to all pins over here and your most recent pins should pop up at the top so you can click on the pin that you just created and it will be tagged to your existing relevant pin as a product pin below it. If you ask me, should you use this tagging feature on all of your pins? Honestly, I don't think it's worth the effort to do it on every single pin, but I think it's totally worth doing it on your top performing pins that are getting the highest number of impressions and engagements. You can find those pins in your Pinterest analytics and usually you should have an option to click on this icon on the left top corner and tag products even to your older pins. I think it's also important to mention that tagging products on Pinterest sometimes is a necessity, because in some niches, especially in home decor and fashion, Pinterest will automatically add these kinds of tags to popular pins and the tags will go to some random e-commerce stores that have similar products. See, like when I hover over this pin, it shows multiple tagged products and they all go to external stores that have nothing to do with the website which created this pin, so your pin will be losing traffic. You can easily fix this and delete Pinterest's automatic tags by simply adding at least one tag to an affiliate product on your own pin. Once you've done that, Pinterest will never add automatic tags to that pin again. Now, if you want to learn even more about leveraging ChatGPT for Pinterest affiliate marketing, check that video, but not just yet. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.